I never really have time for taking care of myself. But this day is over. Today I made my decision. I'm gonna exercise more regularly. Vague goals produce vague results, says Jack Enfield in his book Success Principle. There are a lot of ways of creating goals, but there is only one smart way. How many times I've seen people set unrealistic goals or not specific goals or without even a way of measuring if actually they achieved their goal or not? Actually, when you think about it, it's pretty clever to set a goal without setting any way of measuring the results. If you don't measure your success, technically, it's impossible to fail. By the way, that was sarcasm. We at the beginning of a relationship, I don't want you to unfriend me as we just get to know each other. So just to warn you, I'm using sarcasm a lot. Maybe too much. Where are we at? Yes, SMART goals. So SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based. So for example, if you say, I wanna be healthier, he healthier, Yes, French people have a lot of problems with this H. Instead of saying, I wanna be healthier, you can say, I'm gonna stop eating these cookies every day and eat an apple instead. That's much more specific. Measurable, how will you measure the progress and the success of your goal? And I mean by that, how will you make sure that you actually achieved your goal? Use numbers in your goals. Instead of saying, I want to lose weight, you can say, I'm going to lose eight pounds. Set a goal that is achievable, not just a dream. It doesn't mean that you can't push yourself to try to achieve a very challenging goal. I mean, if you know yourself and you know you can do it, and please, by all means, do it, and that's how you're going to have greater results. In that case, the A stands for ambitious. On the other hand, it's okay to break down your goals into smaller bite-sized goals and achieve them one by one and start small. Having an achievable goal is actually answering the how am I going to do it. So instead of saying I'm going to exercise, you can say I'm going to walk 20 minutes a day. A relevant goal is a goal that you are both willing and able to work on. And it needs to be aligned with your higher priorities, your values and your main goals. Time-based. I've seen countless times open-ended goals with no time frame, but that stops now. Make sure your goal is restricted in time and actually that can put some healthy pressure to actually realize that goal. So when are you going to achieve this goal? Instead of saying, I'm going to finish writing my book, that can be a goal, but that's not time-based. A time-based goal would be, I'm going to finish writing my book in three months. If you do not set your goals in a smart way, chances are high that you're not going to achieve them. Or even worse, you may try to convince yourself that you did achieve your goals even if you didn't. Now that we know the SMART framework, how can we try to structure the goal that was introduced in the déjà vu section of this video? I never really have time for taking care of myself. But this day is over. Today I made my decision. I'm gonna exercise more regularly. See, this goal is not smart in the way that it's not specific, it's not measurable, it's not achievable because we don't even know what's the goal. It may be relevant, but it's not time-based. So how can we turn this goal into a smart goal? We can try by saying, I'm going to run twice a week for the next four weeks so that you know that within the next four weeks, you need to run at least eight times. And every time you run, you can cross, you can tick the box and say, I did it. And that's going to motivate you going forward and achieve this goal. Just do it, try it out. Write a specific goal, define how you're going to measure the success. Do some reality check and make sure that this is achievable and that is relevant to you and to your higher purpose and give yourself a deadline. Thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you liked the content and that it's going to help you achieving your goal in the near future. Please let me know if you have any suggestion for improvement or just let me know if you like it. That would be awesome. And 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel.